second episode of the day and on this particular episode we are going to deal with three particular subjects let me give you the breakdown of them episodes first you'll remember that guy who said that south africa fnb froze his uh, uh, fnb account the prophet who said he had 50 million i just 50 million or how many million mm. yeah he is back on that story that we did yesterday of the pastor who left ECG, he's mocking and he's saying, yeah, please send me the link. <laughs> he says, send me the link of that story of the of the song that he's looking for. Looks like he's not a fan of the series. Second part of this particular episode, we're going to be talking about that prophet. Mm, it's an update episode. This one. That prophet, remember that prophet who wedded a couple? And then after waiting in the couple, the couple went on honeymoon. The couple had to divorce after one week of marriage. Yeah, that prophet has now caused havoc. He is back in the news. We're going to talk about him just in a second. Thirdly, in this particular episode, I'm going to give you an update, a small little update on the episode of Kanyimbao. I think a few people didn't understand what I was saying. So I think I should do it justice and bring it back into context. On the Kanyimbao episode, there were a lot of people that did not understand the narrative as I was putting it forward. Uh, people thought I was saying Kanyimbao is not going to change. Guys, we've gone through that a lot already. Okay? We've made two to three episodes last year talking about that. And I explained, I'm not saying she can't change. We've already done that on two different separate episodes. Okay? There was a time when the prophecy came out. And again, there were people that were saying, Ricky, you are saying that the prophecy is false. Where did I say the prophecy? I said, this is what the prophecy is, right? And I said, okay. And I literally said, this is not what I'm addressing. Now, what are we talking about? We are talking about what she responded with. She responded with, if only they knew that she's going to be a pastor. Now, if you know that of yourself, does it not tell you how you ought to walk? The reality of the matter, She's what? Eh? You have spoken something to everybody. The day you decide to be a serious person, be shocked when nobody wants to listen to you. You must continue the conversation forward. Sometimes it's not the basics we are talking about. We are feathering the subject. In that episode that I made yesterday, she said she believes the prophecy. I'm not saying we are taking Christian values and putting them upon her. No. I'm saying she said she believes the prophecy and so therefore we are now communicating from that ground if you believe it then fruit that's what i was saying in that episode but in case it didn't get across maybe i didn't communicate it very well it's because i had addressed it two three episodes before i didn't think i had to come back and tread carefully on that one fine now the second update here this prophet bazalwan we made a video on prophet bentley the guy who got a couple wedded when this couple wedded the husband got to the honeymoon and found out that his wife who was a gospel musician was cheating with the pastor the pastor who had just wedded them not only that the pastor was sending messages to this woman saying you know can't live without you hey hey i need you soulmate <laughs> <laughs> and so that particular narrative we did that story five months ago hey, you won't believe what story came out today <laughs> you won't be zodiac online just posted a story about that pastor they said the pastor is being investigated by the police because he supposedly been violating one particular chat for over a year In that particular episode Martha, Martha was busy sending the message back to the, to the prophet, if you can remember this episode. She was saying, no, which is, the, Martha is the lady who, who was cheating on the husband. For those that are not understanding what's happening, <laughs> I'll leave that episode down in the pinned comment so that you can get a background of where it, this entire thing started. The pastor, where did this couple, this couple went on a honeymoon. When they were on honeymoon, they didn't even get past honeymoon. The husband finds out the messages from the past to his wife. The, the husband said, no, we are not doing this. I'm leaving. Ha, ha. The wife was busy sending messages to the to, to, to responding to the past. Oh, you need me in your life. You need to settle that. You need soulmate, soulmate. Oh, okay. He said, no, let us wait 
so that we can see what God can do. <laughs> and I said, Martha, while the wife was taking a shower, mm, 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 there's a shower involved. <laughs> <laughs> Nothing will come all right. He says he decided to go through her phone and what he discovered was shocking to him. You just married these people you want, you need. Hey, I want you to be the mother of my children. The pastor said, Martha replied, let's wait and see how God <laughs> will, will help <laughs> Martha. <laughs> I would really like to see you soon, darling. Please don't worry. I'm not perfect, but, <laughs> but I know but I know that you deserve that. <laughs> Martha <laughs> I'm quoting a verse, me, I'm not talking to anyone. <laughs> Martha. You who is unsettled in spirit, will he not leave you just about the same way? Look at him now. Mm. He wasn't only busy with you, he was busy with little children. He was busy with little children. A man who doesn't respect your marriage. Man who doesn't respect your marriage. After he's the one who wedded you. What do you expect? Now, that is what they posted out. I will give you an update as further information comes up on this particular story. I wanted to make a reference to say sometimes when we are giving warnings out here and people think, ah, you know what, you are just exaggerating these matters. You see what happens. A man causes a woman to cheat on her husband that they have recently and they are sending each other messages, I need you in my life. You need a person who is married. Something is wrong with you. You call yourself proposal. You know, some people have the guts. <laughs> some people have the guts. <laughs> some people have guts out here. It is too much. I cannot even handle. And so that episode, I will leave it down pinned in the, in the comment section so that you can go see what the story was before five months ago. That takes us straight into the third story of this particular episode. Mm. Remember that prophet who once came up and he said that they froze his 50 million. Was it 50 million or 60 million account? Mm. <laughs> he, was the, he was now bragging about Bushiri's pastor living. <laughs> For those people that didn't understand the song. So basically, he posted this thing where he's making a mockery about that song coming out uh, saying that he is leaving Bushiri's camp. I don't know if this guy is, is not a fan of Bushiri, but they're from the same country or something like that. So it's funny. He hasn't yet told us what happened to his account. Pastor, we haven't forgotten. <laughs> yes, we have not forgotten that you said that South Africa froze your accounts. Please tell us what happened. We were very, very interested. What happened to that account? We haven't forgotten. What happened to that account? Hmm. You're saying, you said, no, they froze in his account. He, he's very innocent. People will say, no, there's no account of such a kind. The man is actually broke. <laughs> I want to see proof. It's actually the child with daily Christian commentary video. Please take warning. Okay? When you hear that a man is busy doing funny, weird shenanigans, don't just assume innocence. Because you will never know. They will shock you, woman them. Woman them, they are dodgy in their private spaces, doing all kinds of things. It's not shocking for me to hear this. It just said that she had to dump her whole marriage for this man. And now the man has been accused of doing what? Accused of doing what? It's Ricky, and I will see you on a later on episode. If you have not heard of us, we do this on a daily basis. Other episodes down to date down in the pit comments, so check them out, and I will see you later. Hey, Martha, if we know they warn you, 